So we've got fan laws that are directly analogous to the pump laws. Changing the speed of the fan increases the flow and it increases the pressure the fan can generate. So the fan performance curve moves up and down as we change speed. Drawn here, I've got our original 2000 RPM curve plus a 2200 RPM fan curve and an 1800 RPM fan curve. These would typically appear on you know, successive pages of a book related to this fan, this make and model of fan. Uh, but if we want to know kind of where to look and about what speed um, we should be looking for, we can run this through the fan laws. So here is our first set of three fan laws related to the speed in RPM. Well, actually, it's speed in any measure since it's a ratio of speeds uh, for the fan. NCS is going to use Q as the flow rate. I'm not going to use Q as the flow rate because Q gets overused in many of these situations. So Q in, in HVAC, we could potentially use Q for energy flow rates, air flow rates, uh, hot water flow rates, uh, refrigerant flow rates, and we'll, we'll basically get them all mixed up if we do that. So instead of using Q for everything, my solution to that is to just use the most typical unit for it, which is cubic feet per minute. In HVAC, we don't usually talk about cubic feet per minute of refrigerant. We usually talk about pounds per hour and that sort of thing, or pounds per minute. So when you see me say cubic feet per minute, that's, that's flow rate, and I'm using those units to indicate that it's air. So we can say that the cubic feet per minute of air flow rate is proportional to the RPM. And we could write this equation as sort of putting parentheses here and putting a one exponent there and a one exponent there. So if we increase the RPM, we get a corresponding increase in flow rate. But if we increase the RPM, the resistance to flow, which is the pressure that's generated against that flow, uh, is also going to increase. And it turns out that increases with an exponent of 2. So if you had to guess what the exponent would be on power, what would it be? Now it's going to depend on how good your fluids class was. Energy is pressure times volume, as in PV equals nRT, right? So since we know that that is a measure of energy, um, what we're talking about here is volumetric flow rate in CFM, which is V dot times pressure to get power. So since power is P V dot, if the P, if the P pressure takes an exponent of 2 and the V dot takes an exponent of 1, the power varies with an exponent of 3. So the pump laws and fan laws are predictable in that regard. Um, these exponents kind of do make sense. So that's it. And, and it's no different from uh, the pump affinity laws. We can call these the fan laws or the fan affinity laws or sometimes just the affinity laws. This is the main group of them that you're going to use most often.